Tony, I just don't know about this hen. I haven't seen her lay yet. Well, that one's not supposed to lay. That's a rooster. Really? Right. Well, how do you tell? Well, think about it. Look at the goiter. Oh, the goiter. I didn't even think of that. Right. There's no eggs coming out of that one. Well, uh, why do we keep it around? Well, it's good to wake you up. I Another letter. Okay, thanks. That is interesting right there. <laughs> so Claire says, Tony, we're in a bit of a predicament here. We have been living beside the same neighbor for 10 plus years now, and I've been calling him Sean the whole time, only to learn last weekend that his actual name is Chan. Now, what do I do? Or what? Well, that is quite a predicament. Well, that's a good one. Well, it's all in the pronunciation, really. Like, yeah. There wouldn't be much of a problem if you just pronounced your uh, English proper. Yeah. Boys, you're doing a nice job here, but listen, let me ask you something. How would you say Sean or Chan? Well, I would say John. And I would say Chan. Right. Well, maybe we should do some schooling. Yeah. If you listen here, what I'm trying to say is the J is equal to the CH. It's literally the same thing. So, when you're saying a che, you pronounce it with the CH, like uh, choose or. Shaker. Uh, yeah, right. Or chasing. And cherry. Well, <laughs> the Martin boys. <laughs> well, they're good boys too, or what? I'm just making noise, but I heard one's a little better than the other. Well, that's known too. Oh, yeah. That's known too. Now, as we progress, they scratch a lot of dirt, those boys, oh, though. They, they do. do. They, they do. get going. They, they, got that, they got that other good guy. Now, who's this? Tony. Sorry to bother you guys. Tony, I got a toothache. My tooth's killing me. Well, we're kind of in the middle of something again, Kyle. Can you have a look at it? Let me have a look here once. That's the one right there. I got it. Hold on still. Okay, Tony, what are you going to do? I'm going to do it here. Hold on. Don't move. Oh, Tony. I don't it's know why. Just wait. Watch. It's the other one. No, it? it's that one. Trust me. Where's my tooth? Well, it's gone. Listen, Kyle, when you're done fussing, why don't you sit in on this too? Put that one no, over your pillow. It's not bad for Grandpa. As we progress, it will come down here, and now we're at the S and the SH. And what I'm trying to say here is, boys, that the S becomes the SH. So when you're going to say a word like Sean. Jason. It's Sean. Sean. Well, at the end of the day, really, it all comes down to pronunciation. And I think if you're really clear, like if you pronounce it right, you wouldn't have had a problem for 10 plus years. Or what? I think with a tooth, with an S, with an SH, a CH, or a CH, if you did your schooling, it'll come out clearly. Or maybe just call them whatever. Jason. Well, Tony, I think Claire maybe should just move. Jessica. Well, or get him to move. That's well, even easier. Either one. Why don't you get him to move? Eliminate the problem. Just move. Just move. Get him to move. <laughs>